Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and welcome to this brand new tutorial where I'll show you how to create professional thumbnails for your videos. Now, first off, why are thumbnails so important? Well, first of all, they basically give your viewer a look into your videos before they even click on it. So in advance, they can already get a first impressions from you, your channel and your video quality if you have a professional thumbnail. On top of that, if somebody does, for example, a video about the Galaxy S7, there'll be 100 or 200 videos appearing in the uh, YouTube search. And if you have a professional thumbnail, it really helps you to set yourself apart and get the views that other people covering the same topic might not get. And last but not least, a thumbnail, especially if you have a consistent design throughout all your thumbnails, also helps you to basically build a branding for your channel that can, for example, also be featured in your channel banner or even your profile picture. So today we go step by step through all the necessary steps that you need to take to create a professional thumbnail, of course, starting here in my studio where I'll take a couple of pictures that I want to use in the thumbnail. So now we'll prepare here and of course it's important to note that you don't need your own studio. You just need some small accessories like this saw shaker to actually prop up the Honor 8 so that you can take pictures from it. But in general you don't need a studio. What's most important is actually light and you don't even need an expensive camera. So if you don't have uh, lights like me, like these uh, soft boxes that were fairly cheap, I think like 150 euros for three of them. You can also pick them up, for example, from Amazon.com or eBay. Then you can just use natural light, for example, uh, go outdoors to actually take those product pictures. And then there's not really much to it. But light is always a very important factor when it comes, especially to product photos. So in this case, uh, we now have uh, the Honor 8 propped up and I just love these reflections. Here we have my 700D, which I think is known in the US as like the T7i, I believe. And we have the 50mm f1.8 lens by Canon, uh, which retails for around like $120. So here I'll just take a couple of pictures and of course the Honor 8 is one of my favorite uh, smartphones to shoot because the reflection just looks absolutely amazing uh, due to the glass back. So in this case, we just claim that we'll make, for example, a review um, thumbnail of the Honor 8 or for the Honor 8. And uh, then you can also see right here that we have some really nice close up shots with this 50 millimeter. And this will also help us to really extract this uh, in the post processing. So here I'll just show you that you don't need an expensive DSLR. I'll just actually use my Honor uh, 7 smartphone now to take the picture that we'll also uh, then use in Photoshop later on to use this as a thumbnail picture, especially also because uh, the thumbnails are fairly small in terms of resolution. The smartphone is absolutely fine for taking those pictures and the Honor 7 retails fall on like $250. So it's not for like a crazy expensive smartphone either. The HDR feature is always welcome as well. It really improves the uh, picture quality overall, especially also with the contrast, um, at least on the Honor 8 or Honor 7. It might also depend a little bit on the smartphone, but here you can also see that the smartphone is perfectly fine. And again, that light is the most important factor that we can definitely use this picture and also uh, easily extract the smartphone from it. Before moving on, I want to quickly share Graphic Stock with you guys who are sponsoring today's video. Graphic Stock is one of the largest libraries of photos, vectors and illustrations on the internet and clicking the link in the description or going to graphicstock.com slash YouTube will get you a seven day free trial. Graphic Stock has more than 300,000 photos, vectors and illustrations and while other websites charge up to $30 per item, you can actually already get a year long membership for $99 at Graphic Stock and of course you also have a 100% royalty free agreement then you can use these images also in commercial projects. So I will demonstrate this here in Photoshop Creative Cloud, but of course you could also do this for example in GIMP, which is for free. Of course, we will now create a new document, which is a YouTube uh, thumbnail. And then we will choose the dimensions 1920 by 1080, which is full HD. YouTube suggests 720p, so 1280 by 720. But if they uh, decide to change this at a later date, you would also be prepared. And of course, full HD already works just fine. So now we'll make this a little bit smaller. The canvas, I mean, of course, it's transparent. And I personally have uh, this um, brick background, which is kind of like my branding uh, in the last few weeks. So I'll now position this right here and then choose the size so that it 
just fits the background well and that these um, single stones aren't too big. But of course you could also choose any kind of other background, this is just the one that I chose. And it's also from graphicsdoc.com as well. So there we're pretty much done with it and now I'll make uh, this just box that I'll choose to be transparent but I'll choose to have outlines. So for example a yellow right here and this is very similar to the first uh, thumbnail of mine that you saw. And then I'll just choose the um, dimensions and width and I think around like six to seven points is a pretty good width so that you can see it. And one thing that you always have to consider is that you should take a look at your thumbnail this small or even smaller because in the end the thumbnail just looks very small if you're for example looking at your videos uh, on the smartphone or if the audience is looking at your videos on a smartphone or also even on a desktop thumbnails are displayed very small so you also have to make sure that even if it's small it's still really easy to just read the content and to see what's going on so you shouldn't put too much content in there so now we'll have this very nice contrast the yellow color right there and then we just have uh, the background again and I'll just zoom in so uh, that I'll make sure that the position is perfect and uh, then we will now also continue and go on to the smartphone pictures. Now this is the picture of the Honor 8 that I took uh, with the um, 700D and the 1.8 lens so we now choose uh, the quick selection tool and then just increase uh, the brush witness a little bit and then you can see that I now here select the entire smartphone. I have to zoom in a little bit so that I can also uh, get or copy all of these details, especially um, like the volume rocker on and off switch and so on. So now this looks pretty good but the bottom right corner is actually not selected so we'll have to do this uh, manually as well and we'll just uh, click the mouse button for that. If you want to deselect something you can also just uh, click control and then with your left uh, mouse click and then you have it deselected. Now we just choose select and just command copy and then paste it here in the um, just document and then we already see the smartphone picture right there and then we can just resize it so that it has an overall good size and that it's good visible here as well. Next up we'll then just create a text box and then for example write a review on a 8. Of course we also have to take a look at what font size now works and what font would be good to read. Now I usually like to use Open Sans which is also quite um, widely spread on the internet as well and it's just very easy to read. But you can then also play around for example uh, making the review bold and the Honor 8 not and you just have to see what works out for you. Now we'll also just change the color and we can just pick the one from the frame right there so that we have a consistent design all through the thumbnail itself and then for example we'll now choose a regular right here so it looks a little bit better and now just uh, put in on a 8. You could also for example use this as a sub headline so make it a little bit smaller that the review is really what stands out here. I mean most people who are looking for an Honor 8 know how it looks so it's also fine if that's a little bit smaller and review is really what you center this text around. And then we just make sure to uh, put this centered and then we really have a flashy thumbnail that really stands out from the crowd and of course this is also possible with the phone uh, or with the picture that we took with the Honor 7. So I'll now show you the picture that I took with the Honor 7 in the video a couple of minutes ago and I already selected it and now we can just insert it as well and to be honest I even feel like the way that I took the picture with the Honor 7 it actually matches better uh, this thumbnail than the one that I took with the 700D but it just shows you that again also a smartphone camera is absolutely fine and you don't necessarily need an expensive camera to create good thumbnails. And again you also don't need Photoshop, you can just use GIMP or any other program and it should work just fine without any issues. And here we can then just see that we have the smartphone again in there and then for example we can just add some outer glow so that we really have the smartphone separated or stand out from the background and that's also an effect that I really like to use on my thumbnails as well. 
Now, of course, you could also, for example, use other backgrounds. So, for example, I also downloaded this wood background and we'll see in a second that it doesn't quite work as well as, for example, this brick background because there's just a lot of things going on. It's just too busy. So you can barely even read the text and it's also quite difficult to see the smartphone on there. And especially if you look at it so small, it just doesn't look that good. So what we can do about that is to resize it, make it smaller, but it's still just overwhelming and just doesn't look good. So for example, we can also just uh, change the opacity. So that's for example, like, I don't know, like 50%, 60%, and then it's already just standing out again. The text standing out, popping, and also the smartphone, but it's also a little bit darker now. So this might not be uh, the just right surface or background image, but of course we could just use a ton of different backgrounds. But I have to say uh, my brick background, at least for me, definitely looks better there. Here we have something completely different, a picture of a beach again, also from graphic stock. So we'll now see what we can do with that beach picture. Now, first off, of course, we'll uh, just copy and then paste it again here on our canvas and then resize it though it fits here right in the middle of the image and that we have uh, the beach as well as uh, the wood right there. And then I also have uh, this other picture of this girl and we'll just pretend that she's vloggering, uh, traveling around uh, the country and internationally and just posting vlogs from various locations and this time she's just on a beach. So we now have uh, this picture of her and we'll put this here to the uh, bottom right side and then of course we'll have to add some text. In this case we'll just use the text that we had before. Of course we we'll adjust it so it doesn't say uh, on a 8 review anymore. So we just say well this is then a beach vlog and uh, so we'll just edit the text I think the color could actually just stay the same here for this vlog. Um, the yellow fits really nice into the background. It has a very nice contrast as well. Of course, we have to uh, reposition it again so that it fits in there perfectly. And the text is a little bit too large. So again, we have to make it a little bit smaller and to resize it. But overall, I think this also works quite well. And these are basically just three layers. We have uh, the background, the girl itself, and then also the text here and this is just done in a couple of minutes or even uh, seconds if you're really fast at photoshop but anyways here we then have the result and i think it looks quite nice and again it's way way smaller if you look at it at a, as a thumbnail and this is of course the design that i have for my channel right here so now we just have a few more steps to do to actually get this online so of course we have to export this now so we can just go to file and then export it uh, for web and then export it for example as a jpeg which works absolutely fine here for these thumbnails and then we can just see right here we can also for example uh, choose the high setting save it rename it and then upload it to our selected youtube video either during the upload we can upload a specific thumbnail if your channel is enabled or also then after the fact um, so that's also a very nice option but it might take a few days till it's visible everywhere and this basically also uh, wraps up here my thumbnail for how to create a youtube thumbnail i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to subscribe like the video and let me know what you think about the video and just uh, this tutorial in the comment section down below again i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and i really hope to see you next time thank you very much for watching